Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In this episode I just want to document my work what I was working on and I was working on the uh, hybrid solar system with the hybrid solar inverter and the battery and so my work was to connect all batteries, balance it, to fix it and press together make this wooden box. Some of you may not agree that this box is wooden because the, the battery can get on fire. So when they got on fire, they will burn anyway. So I compressed them and set them tight, I connected all with the BMS, uh, with, the, with the BMS cables. I didn't cut the cables because in theory, it is better to have the same length of cables because you don't have a different voltage drops. But in practice, it doesn't matter really but i chose the theory because it was the easiest way to make it so i didn't cut them this is the on and off switch and this is this display that is showing the temperature of cells uh, and the high low voltage cell this is the amps uh, of in and out and this is the voltage this is a 50 volt system it has a 15 cells before when i put the battery in there i connected all the battery in parallel to make sure that they will be on the same voltages but those battery it is very difficult to balance and i was charged them a bit and left them a couple of days so they can have the equal voltages i didn't make a top balancing because i don't have a quick charger for a single cell battery so when you connect them all in parallel uh, you need 3.6 volt charger but at least 20 or 30 amps because i have only this power supply this is 3 amps and this is way too low because all the battery connected in parallel has three or four thousand amps and you have to charge it only with three amps so you can calculate how much time would you charge them it is measurable so this is measurable in days this is not possible so i decided to connect all the battery in series just like this connected to the bms i couldn't connect to the bms i couldn't set the battery type cells I had the problems to connect it on the with the bluetooth on the application i downloaded the newest application what they offer to to use for the proper setting and it still didn't want to work in the meantime i decided to connect it on this hybrid solar inverter and charge them i was here and when they were charging i was looking for the voltage and everything was okay until evening when i went to watch the movie i came one hour later and one cells exceeds 3.65 volts up to 4.4 volt which is which is not acceptable this is very dangerous I was expecting significant voltage difference, but not so much as it was. And when I came here and saw the 4.4 the voltage, I all immediately disconnect all the voltages and I use this uh, resistor to load the vol to voltage. These are the resistors, 3 amps resistors. The second day I came here, I saw the inflate, the battery was inflating. When, when I decompressed them, so the battery came like this. And why is this happened? Because this battery has a significantly lower capacity than all other batteries, so it is better to remove it. In the meantime, I was able to connect it with the Bluetooth, so I set up the voltages and now is so I'm going to show you now how to connect the Bluetooth and what was the problem because uh, now it is working properly with the proper setting cells type. And this is the Bluetooth light that is flashing. And when you take the application, open the application, and now you can see it is flashing. The application, you, you have to click on the de device list. And then we have here and BMS here. So we select and then press confirm. And then immediately it starts to lightning. This right light starts lightning, but there is no connection. It is only says it is connecting and now you can see here it is again disconnected so i have to run again confirm so now it's connected this led is lightning and then it's lightning and then it's connected and i didn't know that because it is always showing here connecting and it's never connecting and you don't have you don't have the readings here so you have to wait for a long time and now it's up and now it's again disconnected and then again connect confirm and now it is 
Again disconnected. What the fuck? Connected. And now I have to wait a little bit. No. So I have to switch it off. So I turn it off. Again. Let's see how for how long. Password error. What the fuck? Oh, it connects. Here it is connected. Ten times of trying, it is connected now. And as you can see, after ten times of trying, it is connected. And then here you can see the parameters. This is how you can set the parameters. Fast setting. And this is reading success. I have a 15 cells and 218 amp hour. And uh, these are some other reading status. And here are the cells voltages. Th these differences in between voltages are just insane. You don't have this with the lithium iron battery. I put the unit over protection uh, on 3.55 volts because 3.65 is not necessary. So I charge only battery for to 3.55. And this is the parameter that you uh, change. You click here and then you read and then you have to, uh, for instance, 3.55. I don't want to change it because it could be disconnected uh, whatsoever. So I don't want to change the value. You click here, setting and then set success, but I have to click save. And this is how you, and this is how you uh, save the settings. And now you saw how difficult it was for me to connect the BMS on the mobile phone. Maybe it's not up to, maybe it's not up to the BMS. Maybe it's up about my mobile phone because uh, maybe it's working well, maybe it's working better with some other phone. But there is some kind of misconception that these batteries are safe, that they can't burn, but this is not true. I saw two cars that was burning with these batteries because they didn't have the BMS and they are very dangerous. You have to be very careful and especially for this battery, you need to have the BMS who will stop the current flow when the battery reaches the maximum voltage value. And uh, this is the video that I just want to explain how Dangerous these batteries are much more than the NC NCM cells. And for me personal, I don't like them because the quality is uh, questionable and uh, the voltages are very unstable. They are not so stable as the NCM cells from the electric cars that are tested uh, quality control. And fun fact about these batteries that that the positive pole is all around outside the battery and only isolation is this thin foil. This is something I don't like. And now at the end, you can write your thoughts down below into the comment. What do you think about this battery? Do you have a bad or good experience with them? And now it is time for testing. And now on inverter is connected only the battery. The grid is off and I'm charging my electric car. So I'm gonna see now how much electricity will I drain from this battery to my electric car. So I'm measuring now exact. And now here is my electric car. No, no, the battery is almost empty. And now the charging is done. The battery is almost empty. Now we can see exactly what kind of capacity the battery has. And now it's uh, 15 kilowatt, 15.1 kilowatt hour. And before when I started was four kilowatt hours. So the total useful capacity from this battery is 11 kilowatt hour which is not bad. And now you can see the difference between low voltage cell and the high voltage cell. And this is the significant difference. So like I said, I don't like them, but after all, the result is not bad. I like more those cells.
And one more thing, I'm selling this aluminium ring. And with this one, you are able to mount the facelift M steering wheel to older E39 cars, to pre-facelift cars. And this is the way how you can add some value into your cars because these cars are going up in value. Not mention only the M5 or 540, but even the basic spec if they are in the decent condition. So you can add an extra value in it. So anyway... If you don't have the E39, you can still buy it as a souvenir because this is the piece of art. So this is how you can support the channel. You have the price and email down below into the description so you can order it. Or if you think you don't have enough experience to do it, you can send the steering wheel to me and I can do it for you. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next one.